Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a simple array and use a for loop. So uh, let's create a C-sharp script. I'm going to call it uh, array test. All right. We need to declare an array, and an array is a collection of strings, integers, floats, characters, any kind of variable you want to put in there, game objects or prefabs. You use them to store information. So a good example to use arrays would be if you wanted to have an inventory system, and you knew it was only going to have a number of 10 items allowed in the array. If you want to use um, an inventory system but you don't know how many items you're going to use, you're probably only going to use a list because lists you can uh, change the sizes smaller to bigger. With an array you're kind of stuck with the size of it so it's static. So let's get into it. We're going to make and uh, a type of an array that's an integer, so it's going to be stored with ints or numbers, and we're going to call it my nums for my numbers, and we're going to set it equal to new, and we're going to say int with the little box in it, and we're going to put a three. All right. Let me uh, zoom this in real quick. Alright, so what this does, it this creates a new or this creates a new array full of integers. Called my nums, and it's going to hold three uh, values in it. Now arrays start at zero. Uh, they do not start at one. So if we want to use three values, three integers, we're going to have to put an extra one so it doesn't say out of bounds index or whatever. So if we start with zero and we count to three, that's actually four. So if we start with zero and you go to one and you go to two and then you go to three, you'll see that there's four digits and we only want to store three so you have to put the three to give the uh, array some room so it doesn't say index out of error which I'll probably leave it at two and we'll just check out the error that's going to be wrong just pay attention to that alright so we need uh, three values for our integer array so we're going to set them call it by my nums and then we start with zero like I said so we put a zero in the box and then you set it equal to one and then we're going to do the next one for uh, one equals two All right, so it's going to print out one, two, three. All right, and now we just have to set a, a for loop to print these out. So we do the letter, the word for, open parentheses, and we're going to declare an integer, and everybody uses I. 
Okay, and then you're going to set it equal to zero because your array starts at zero. And then the next part, we're going to say i is less than the array name, which is my nums. So while i is less than my nums, dot length. So what that does, it's going to say, all right, i is equal to zero. So it's going to equal one. And while i is less than my nums, the whole thing is going to keep repeating itself. And then to make it repeat itself, or count again, you do i plus plus. That just means to repeat itself. Set i to zero uh, while i is less than the length of the array. And then, kind of like an if statement, you need your open and close brackets. And then we just want to print out the value for our uh, arrays. So we do a debug dot log, and then open your parentheses and type in a string. The number is, and then add a plus sign, and then finally put the name of the array and then put inside of the array the letter i so that's going to uh, put the value of i that is going to print that and since this is equal to this it's going to print the value for it kind of confusing just kind of let it sink in for a second If you don't want to use debug.log, you can always use print. But I'm going to comment that out. All right, let's uh, run it. And remember, this is probably going to give us an error because we haven't set it to. Uh, three values right now, zero, one, two, zero, we're going to two, zero, one, two, so that's three values. And with the arrays, you always have to use one number larger than what you set it to. So it should give us an out of index bounds error or something when we run the code and put it on the main camera and push play. And you'll see we got a index out of range exception. Array index is out of range. That is because we need to set it one value up. So if we want three values, we need to add an extra one. Now I'll save it. and push play and you'll see that the game printed out our three values one two and three thanks for watching guys this is just a short video on how to do a basic array with a for loop you can do this with strings any kind of variable all right thanks for watching